Now, some people have tried to argue that the rationale that I just used is uh, committing a parts to whole fallacy. Sometimes the things that are true about parts are not true about the whole, and sometimes the things that are true about the whole are not true about the parts. And fundamentally, to understand whether or not it is a fallacy to argue that the universe isn't a special case, we need to actually just understand what the universe is, and if it's somehow inherently different than the examples I just gave. So, the universe is properly defined as all space, time, matter, and energy. Now, take the example of the horse, or as I think I said giraffe, take the example of the giraffe that I said would pop up between me and the camera. A giraffe would be occupying space, it would be occupying time, it would be made up of matter, and it would have energy. So, because the parts are just sub-segments of the whole, it is not a fallacious statement to say that the universe could not just pop into being without a cause. Now, another point here that's just as valid though is that to say that the universe is a special case is in and of itself a fallacious statement. It's called special pleading. Because there is nothing unique about the universe in comparison to the things in the universe, it is completely fallacious to say that it is a special case. 